are approaching Asheville, North Carolina. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. I'm excited for this. I thought it was going to be a dry, dusty, barren wasteland. Apparently that's South Carolina, <laughs> so apologies to all you North Cackalackans. No, is that a proper term? Cackalackans, yeah. Is that for real though? Because if I go up to a North Cackalackan and call him that, I don't want to get hit in the face. You will not get slapped, I okay. promise. Okay. All across America, there are hidden gem towns full of amazing attractions. Nice. Delicious food. Wow. Is it good? And wild rides. I'm Doug. I'm a dad and a stand-up comedian. And I'm Sonia. I'm a gearhead and a race car driver. Car Shield is sending us on the ultimate road trip to check out the best this country has to offer. I'm really excited for this. So jump in and start your engine. This, this is, is Drive On. on. We went from all that greenery to heart of the city. Wow. This is beautiful. I know what you're excited for. We are hitting the track in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a racing simulator. I know Sonia thinks she's going to smoke me. Hey, guys. Welcome. Hey. How are you doing? I'm Sonia. Sonia, I'm Joel. Nice Good to, to meet, meet you. you. Joel, I'm Doug. Doug, nice good to, to meet, meet you. you. Excited to get you on track and racing in our simulators. Yeah, I love all the car-related stuff. This is my Thanks. jam right here. You're a racer yourself as well? In the past, I've done a lot of autocross and yeah. some track weekends. But today, we got sim racing. Today, we have access to all of the tracks. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do you think I stand a chance? I am a bit of a gamer. Can I mash a bunch of buttons and find a cheat code? Or This is not a video game. These are high-quality sims. These are things that drivers train on. Uh, you can develop a real driving skill, and they are hard. What's really cool is there are even things that you can change on the tuning side of the car. We actually have a customer who has a spec race car that we have in the sim. He will actually tune it here and go to the track and tune his actual car. I drive a Civic at home back okay. in Brooklyn. I'm very good at dodging potholes. Are there any <laughs> potholes on the track? There aren't, but they are true to the real tracks. Yeah. They laser scan the tracks, so you have millimeter accuracy to the real thing. Do you have any sort of like dad van simulator? <laughs> oh, I actually really like that. It has like a whole like maintenance schedule. You have to like check off those things in order for you to like move to your next location. That sounds fair. I yeah. feel like... We don't have that yet. We can work on it, though. Okay. We're going to set up a three-lap race. It's a USF 2000. It's an entry-level to IndyCar. Really fast. It's got big wings, big tires, lots of grip. So we'll get that around a uh, real track in upstate New York called Watkins Glen. Let's head over to the rigs. Let's do it. So right off the bat, this does not feel like a normal car to me. You're just going to have to worry about those big shifter paddles. So the one on the right will shift up a gear, the one yep. on the left shifts down a gear. Okay. And then you have the little paddle at the top left. That's your pull to talk for your radio. I can talk to her while I'm driving. Oh, That's no. it. I can trash talk. <laughs> Psychological <Distracted>. warfare. <laughs> one of the biggest things is you don't want to be braking inside the turn. That's called trail braking. That's for a little bit more of an advanced driver um, because you have to be able to control what the car is doing. You don't get slowed down for the turn and you do run into the wall. We have damage turned off, so your car is just fine. You can just dust yourself off, oh get back gosh. on track, keep rolling. I wish that was true in real life. I've been waiting for be a nice? replacement bumper for a year and a half. Oh my lord. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling amped. Let's do it. Let's race. I think the loser has to stand on the side of the road holding up a sign. Like and say what? That will be determined by the winner. Oh, okay. I'll take your bet. All right, here we go for the race. We're going to give Doug a 15-second head start. 15 seconds, Sonia, no cheating. <laughs> I got my eyes on you. <laughs> I hope you don't have your eyes on me. You're in front of me. And it will stay that way for the duration of the race. <laughs> and Sonia, you can go ahead and go. Uh... You see me yet? Nope, not yet. Looks like student has become the master. <laughs> I got a pro tip for you. Screw yeah. the chicane. Just plow right through the grass. Yeah, you can't do that. You're actually outside of track limits is what they call it. Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? I'm getting some good bounces off that wall. Oh, you're coming up behind me. Ooh, watch it, watch it. Where do I activate the turtle shells? <laughs> Yellow mutton banana peel. We don't have banana peels. Oh, here we go. Don't tell me you actually maneuvered through that chicane like a sucker. I did, I did. Doug. Oh, not nice. The same bumper cars, lady. Oh! oh, oh I meant to do that. Oh my god! That's oh, a no. sweet little tricky <laughs> poo right there. Oh god. Sorry about that. You wanna hop out and trade insurance information? 
You shouldn't flee the scene of a crime. You, you hang back and call the cops. Gotta say, that was an interesting drive, Doug. Yeah, that's one way to admit defeat. Yeah. I never Great thought racing. I would be able to add racing champion to my resume, that is but... Not. Can we explain to him <laughs> well, how we are? That may not be possible still, but with some practice, maybe. But we do still have to do our award ceremony. Ooh, cool. So, Sonia, take your place in the center there. My yeah, rightful yeah. place. But the number and two spot is there. Doug, so that's, be, uh, that's your spot right be, there. She should be on the... It should be over there. Number two, right? No, no, no. So, okay. Sonia, your trophy. Ooh. And Doug. Here is your trophy. This is my trophy, okay. Well earned. Cool. This is highway robbery at its finest. This is what I have to deal with. How about this we is, just do it we, the right gonna, way and okay. just right. kind of, there we go. There we trade, go. Okay, <laughs> laugh it up. You <laughs> will be hearing from my lawyer. I'm really excited to have one for that. I'm even more excited for the sign you're gonna have to hold up. Mm-hmm, have you been giving much thought to that? Yes, I have. I know exactly what I'm gonna write. And there's oh, the book there. exchange. Oh, it wow. looks so cute. Look at the patio. Really pretty outdoor seating area. Wow, this is a classy wow. joint. I think there's a dress code, uh, no denim. You might have to go out there and put on something a little bit more presentable. Guessing they got a Hemingway section. I'm looking for the Captain Underpants section myself. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Great. Pretty good. Welcome to Battery Park Book Exchange. We are primarily a wine and champagne bar, and of course, we're also a bookstore. Yeah, how's the menu looking? <laughs> it looks entertaining. Looks great. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Chamber of Salads. That's pretty good. Pride in pimento, there is no pride in pimento. <laughs> but I cannot resist beauty in the meats. Okay, and I, I'll do the secret life of cheese. You got it. I love the design of the jam. It looks like whoever was in the kitchen fell and spilled it onto the board. <laughs> okay, Sweet. so you could just like hop over on this side and then I'll uh... Here, meet up. That was magnifique. Yeah. The book exchange, really cool vibe, awesome food, but I'm super excited for the next stop. I am Falconry too. is gonna be awesome. I'm so amped. <laughs> My nerves are starting to get to me. Hi, how guys. Are you? Hi. Great, how are I'm you? Jeff. This is Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Hi Sonia. Nice, nice to meet you. Hey, Sam. Doug, Doug nice, nice to meet, to you. meet you. And who do we have here? This is Pizka. Pizka. Yeah. What does that mean? He's named for the brewery that makes my favorite pale ale. Okay. And, and this guy is a peregrine falcon. Beautiful. Oh, I thought you were giving him a little kiss there, but you're <laughs> removing his gimp mask. So the peregrine falcon, fastest animal on the planet. They've clocked these guys at 250 miles an hour. 250? Uh-huh. Your top speed? Man, I think 140-ish. <laughs> like, that's nowhere near that. Oh, my yeah, gosh. He lap you on the track. So he attains those speeds in a dive. He'll circle, gain altitude above a pigeon, tuck in his wings, and he tries to catch that pigeon in midair. And what is their typical success rate? Most of these birds are only catching prey about 20% of the time. So no matter how so well- So getting outfoxed by a pigeon? Yes. Shame, shame, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, there oh. you go. He doesn't like that comment. <laughs> he did not like that comment at all. So this bird can do 25 Gs. That is a lot. Nothing but a G thing, baby. 25 Gs, cause we're crazy. Yes. You a Dre fan, Jeff? Yeah. You Do you know with, how gray down, my hair is? You down with the G-Funk? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's exceptional. Is. So what we're gonna do, we'll put Pisco away here. I'm gonna hood him up. We're gonna pull out Sam Adams. Yeah, you get it. Yep. And Sam's gonna here. teach you how to properly and safely handle him. Awesome. Sam Adams here is a Harris's hawk. This is a species that has keen eyesight. The hawks also see an ultraviolet, which is interesting because he hunts rodents and rodent urine glows in ultraviolet. Can he see where I peed in the grass at the top <laughs> of the can. driveway? He can, he's tracking he you now. <laughs> oh, Wait yeah. till I let him go. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Just marking my territory. Yeah. <laughs> the talons are razor sharp, which is great for catching prey. But even if he just drags a talon across your hand, it's sharp, you'll get cut. So we highly recommend these. So each of you get a gauntlet. You recommend? Have you had anybody <laughs> forego the gauntlet? Uh, no. All 
right, so I'll ask you to raise the glove. It'll go straight out here in front of you because all he wants to do is land on that leather glove and get that small piece of food. It's pretty crazy when a predator flies at your face, but it's also super cool. Who's first? That's all. There we go. So I want you to stand right here. Support. Hold your glove right here. Come up. Wow. Perfect. Spin him into the wind now. Step and push. Is that the last time we see him? Don't give him any ideas. Oh, he seems sorry, pretty come, happy there. Let's back. go home, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're done. <laughs> come up. And hold steady. He'll drop. Beautiful. Spin to my right. Yeah. And launch him. Yeah, and send. Doug, your launch was a little sorry. <laughs> we got a little low there. Nice. <laughs> Smooth. Perfect. Come up. No. Hey, Just my boy. So beautiful. Wow. Nice. Nice. Good job. Nice. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna hold the mouse. You're gonna hold it super tight so I can grab the Jesses. You know how I volunteered. I'm not the last jealous time of this before? at all. Look at you just barehanding that thing. You're you a savage, to. Jeff. I, <laughs> so open. This is my first time hold doing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to squish it hard. Squish it hard till you hear it pop. Okay, you ready? Raise it up. Don't let go. Come up. Beautiful. Keep holding. So see the way he's covering it oh. with his wings? Ah. Here you go. You're his new friend. So Hi. the wings are spread, the tail spread, and he's covering that mouse trying to hide it from us. Yeah. So he rips the head off and then <laughs> like I eat gummy bears. Uh -huh. Head first, swallow the rest. Well, thank you guys so much. That was an exceptional experience. Uh, Thanks, Jeff. Thanks I'll get that Jeff. dead mouse all over my head. Yeah, that's, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, that's Something right. to remember you I by. Got an extra one. Man, that was one I can definitely check off the bucket list. That was really cool. Now, granted, you know, they kept coming back because we had the treats, but you know. Well, onward ho. I'm excited for our next adventure. We're gonna to tour the chocolate factory. Yeah, all I can think about is I love Lucy. You'll be Ethel. Yeah, I'll be sticking them in my bra. <laughs>